You, you hear people doing presentations and they tell you, I'm excited to tell you about this. Well, they're not really excited to tell you about it. That's just what they got to see. <laughs> right now, right now, I will tell you, I, I really am excited to tell you about this because you probably hadn't thrown it or maybe didn't see it or whatever. So I really feel like I'm giving you something that you'll catch more fish on in a couple of weeks and I'll be your favorite angler and life will be good. You know what I mean? So all right, so here's what we're talking about. Let me tell you what we're talking about. Well, let's get, let's get this straight first, right? Y'all know who this fella is? Anybody know who he is? Yep, that's right. Good, I'm with you. I, I heard that, but we gotta let that be over here. Hey, all right, that is Keith Porsche, all right? That's Keith Porsche. Keith is from Natchitoches, grew up in Natchitoches, Louisiana, Central Louisiana. Moves to Alabama. Keith finished third in the classic, fishing this thing right here we're about to talk about. Keith is married to Brandy. Keith lives in Alabama. All right? That's Keith. <laughs> Keith drives a Triton. All right? <laughs> Keith had, that's a whole bunch of, that's Keith, right? All right. Y'all know this guy? This is Cliff Crochet. All right? <laughs> Keith. Porsche, Cliff Crochet, Skeeter, married to Sarah. Uh, <laughs> but the bait we're talking about, this is a Keith Porsche power spinner made by Humdinger, presented to you at Bash University by Cliff Crochet. <laughs> so I just wanted to get that totally out of the way before we got started. All right, <laughs> next, next slide. All right, here's what, uh, here's what we're talking about. We're talking about... Uh, We'll do that one next. But anyway, we're talking about a, a Lucky Strike Power Stick. This is a sinkhole style bait. We'll call them all sinkholes, all right? It's just a stick worm, whatever you want to call it. That's Lucky Strike's Power Stick. That's their cigar worm. From this point forward, we'll just call them sinkholes. Make it easy, all right? Um, next thing is this uh, Porsche Power Spinner. This is just uh, that's a, a number three with a split ring, with a swivel with a screw lock. I don't know, maybe this may help. Uh, oh, yeah. Can y'all see that? That's all that is. All right. This is a five aught extra wide gap super line. Uh, that's a hook I like to throw. I got a lot of confidence in it. You could probably scale it down a little bit to a four aught, uh, three aught uh, fine wire hook or, or not super line. I personally like this because it removes all doubt on hook sets and straightening the hook, et cetera. Here's how we can rig it. First thing you want to do is take your cigar style stick worm, whatever brand you use, single, bite off just the, just the tail end of it. Just to, all we want, you just want to square it up. That's all you want to do. Just bite the tail off to square it up. And then you take this the screw lock and you just screw it in, like so. There it is, it's just hanging there, right? And you take your, take your hook. I think this is very important. Uh, this could be the difference between loving this bait and loving me and sending me hate mail in a couple weeks. So this is important. What you want to do is normally on a regular bait, you just go up you know, to the bend in the hook and then you would push the hook out and bring it around and everything, traditional rigging. What I like to do is just push it up a little bit further. I don't know how much, that's, so I guess I got about an inch and a half or so in the bait. And then I want to just, like we would normally, just bring the hook out, slide it all the way up the hook, like so. Now that, that line's going to be running through your bait right here, right? And, and then you want to take your hook, take your bait, pinch it up like you would a normal Texas rig, and rig it like so. Just kind of text poles it, kind of bring it out, just kind of dig it in just a little bit so he, he ain't getting caught up, but we don't need much pressure. He's not fighting through the plastic to get in the fish's mouth. One second. One, one, one quick point that I will point out is they got this little egg sac, clear space, whatever you want to call it, in your, in your baits. That, you want that right there between the point of your hook and the eye of your hook. That way you, in my mind, that's a good landmark 
that you know you, you got that hook way back there. I think this is important because with the spinner, I think a lot of fish bait the spinner, or, or they don't get the whole bait. They worry about this bottom half of the bait. And I, at, sometimes I think they bite it and, then they, it, and then it gets in their mouth. So with that hook a little bit further back, I think you get better hookups. Now you will. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.